Hey snowflakes and welcome to this Easter inspired video. I am going to teach you how to make some Easter treats and some Easter decor. So first we're going to start with the decor. So first we're going to start with this DIY Easter wreath. I got all these materials at the dollar store and I'm showing you everything that you're going to need for this Easter wreath. You can basically put whatever you want on your Easter wreath. I went with these really pretty flowers. I went with these sparkly eggs. And then I got this really, really pretty glitter. And then also some mini Easter eggs. And I just put them all in there and just used hot glue. I really loved how this Easter wreath turned out. So I'm showing you how to make this Easter egg candle holder. So you're going to need a wine glass and some sort of plate. You're gonna need some candles and some grass and then some Easter eggs or whatever you wanna put in there. So first you put the Easter eggs in and then you put the grass in and then you flip it over. And then lastly, you put a candle on top of the wine glass on the bottom and you have an awesome looking candle holder. I think this idea is super cute. Now we're gonna make this DIY Easter egg bunny. So I got this Easter egg, which you can decorate in any way you want from Target. I'm just going to use some white paint and paint it. Then I got these ears at Target as well for a dollar. I'm cutting off the ears. I'm just going to hot glue them to the egg. And then I'm just going to paint a bunny face onto our cute little bunny. And I think this really turned out adorable and I really had a lot of fun making it and creating this idea for you. I also added a cute little bow. Next is this Easter egg garland. And so you're going to need some Easter eggs from the dollar store. And if they don't already have little holes in the top and bottom of them, you might wanna use a hammer and a nail. And then you're gonna need some scissors and some string. So this is super simple. You're just gonna string the eggs onto the little string and then you have Easter egg garland. Next is one of my favorite ideas. It's DIY carrot silverware settings. You're going to need some napkins that are orange. These were the orangest napkins I could find. And then some green silverware. And then optional is some ribbon or some yarn to tie them together. So I am rolling them like this and making them look like little carrots with the green hanging out. And I'm just kind of fixing them to look nice. And then I'm gonna put some ribbon or some string to tie them together. And that's it. decided to display these in a cute little Easter basket with some grass. Now on to making DIY Easter treats. I have two treats for you and the first one we're going to make is DIY bunny pops. So these are the peeps and you're going to need some chocolate chips which I got in white and then some jelly beans. So first I am separating out all the peeps and then I'm going to melt the chocolate and then I'm just going to dip these little serving forks that I got in some chocolate and shove them in the bottom of the bunny. That sounded weird. And then I'm going to put them in a refrigerator for a bit to harden and then I'm going to cover them with chocolate and then add a little jelly bean as a little fluffy tail. And that's it and these turned out really cute. How cute they turned out they are so instagram worthy now on to the next treat these are diy bunny bum cookies you're going to make some sugar cookies and you're going to need some frosting and whatever you want to decorate your bunny bum cookies <laughs> and these cookies would only make like four big cookies and so i made sure to make four like large cookies and then you have to have two little feet for each and so you have to make a bunch of those and so I would 
frost the cookies and then put them together into looking like little bunny bottoms because I think they look better. And then I used some chocolate chips and some sprinkles just to decorate them and make them look more like bunny bum cookies. And that's it. And I think they turned out cute. They didn't turn out as amazing as I want them to turn out to be. They kind of look a little weird, but at least I made an effort. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really spent a lot of time and effort making it. I want to say happy Easter from me and Jinx and my family. We hope you have a good one and I'll see you in my next video really soon. Bye!